Now that we've gone over what the tactical point system is and how it works, we're going to go ahead and make one using the game SDK queries that exist, and then we're going to see how it executes inside of the level after we've typed it up for a random position inside of our query. So the first thing I want to do is I want to go to my game SDK install. Mine is right here. And I'm going to go to Assets, Scripts. And if you don't have scripts, keep in mind that you need to extract from this pack. Go to AI, TPS, and what we're after is the SDK Grunt Queries. And this is a Lua file currently. I'm going to go ahead and drag this into Notepad++. And let's go ahead and shrink these up. And what we're going to do is we're just going to create a whole new query. So let's go ahead and copy this. I'm going to press Enter. Let's bring that back. And let's change the name. Let's name this to tutorial underscore random position. And what we want to do is we want to set some parameters in here. And the parameter that we're going to go after is density. So let's go into this, press tab, we'll do parameters, equals, do curly bracket. And inside of this, let's do density equals 2.0, so a float value. Let's go ahead and put a comma. And we'll take this down, and we'll do generation equals and we'll call this grid around puppet, which is us, equals 10 meters. So it's saying that every 2 meters we need to have a dot, but our entire grid around it will be 10. So let's go ahead and do a comma here. Scroll down. Let's state the conditions for this to fire. And it's going to be quite open-ended, given we don't want to test too much. And I'm going to just simply say this is in the navigation mesh, which has already been typed prior. And let's set that to true. We do one more comma, and we will do the weights. Weights are needed to actually weight the points. And typically speaking, if we look up here, the weights we would have distance to puppet, this would be a very, very specific weight. We're just going to simply call a random value. And I'll do random equals 1.0. So notice how they're all float values. Let's do a comma. Bring this back, and let's go ahead and close it out once more. And then likewise, actually I can just copy these the way they are. So then we're able to close it out completely. Makes it easy. So in that, we've basically said that we are having a density of every 2 meters, and it will draw a 10 meter grid around our character or puppet. The conditions state that it needs to be in the navigation mesh, and based on the weighting, which is going to be completely random, we would choose that random position to go to. So this is not as precise as something else, but it would give us a good testing bed for a first query inside of the tactical point system. So now that we've typed it up, let's go ahead and launch CryEngine and get in there and then debug and test our new query on the SDK Grunt.